Hi, I'm Mark at LeagueAthletics.com, and I'm going to show you how to set up uh, seasons, divisions, and teams. You'll see at the top uh, horizontal tab of my website, I have a Teams tab, and then I have a number of options that drop down below that that allow me to choose a team, then perhaps a division or league, and then perhaps a team within that division or league. And I'm going to show you how to set up this structure. So the first thing we need to do is log into the site by going to the top right hand corner and using our admin credentials to log in. And once we get logged in, we'll be brought to the administrative features page and we want to navigate down to the teams box and click on the seasons option. Now we're first going to need to set up a season and then after we set up a season, we're going to set up our divisions and leagues and then our teams within those divisions or leagues. So you can see here I have uh, three seasons set up. And because uh, the 2012 season is about to end, I'm going to add a 2013 season. So what I want to do here is just name this season. And this can be named anything you'd like, but I'm just going to call it 2013. And then I'm going to choose a start date and an end date. and click Submit to save. And that's all we need to do to set up our season. Uh, this just lists the season here and the start date and the end date. Now, these dates just give us a range of where we can schedule events and create teams. So I'm going to navigate back to the admin section of the site. And now I'm going to go to the divisions and teams area. And from here, it's going to show me that I'm working on the 2013 season. And down below, I can see that I have a number of divisions, perhaps from my previous seasons. Uh, if this was a new site, this would be uh, blank in this area. But I have a number of divisions here, and you can see that they're all uh, expanded, and there are no teams within these divisions, so I need to create teams. So there's a couple different ways to do this. Uh, the first one would just be to add a new team, and I can place it in any division that I'd like or I could copy teams over from a previous season. Now to do this, I would just say that I want to copy them from last season. I could also include the coaches and managers if they're going to be the same, and also include the same uh, players if they're going to be exactly the same as well. Um, also of note, if you're going to make a few different changes, but they're minor changes, you may consider to copy all of the teams forward and then just go back and edit some of the team information in this new season. Uh, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to go to the options area and I'm going to click add new team. So from here, I'm going to name the team. And then I'm going to complete all the information for the team. Now, there is a, a default settings for these teams. So you could just create the team name, uh, choose which season they belong to and which division they might fall into and click submit at the bottom and save that and they would be created and you could continue to do that for all of your teams and then go back and change the settings if you'd like to. Um, however, if you'd like to get them all set up um, from the beginning, uh, what you want to do is just go through and make sure all of the information is filled out for this team and navigate through the tabs at the top. Um, so security information for who can log into the team, uh, their scheduling information, where their home fields might be, um, information about their roster and what's displayed on the roster. Um, if statistics are recorded for this team, then also if they have sponsors uh, for this team. And I'm just going to go ahead and click Submit to save this. And now it'll prompt me to add another team. So I'm going to add uh, team number two. And again, you can name these teams anything you'd like. I'm going to say it's in the 2013 season, and then I'm going to place this team in the 11-12 age division, and then I'm going to click Submit to Save. Okay, so I added two teams, so I'm going to navigate back to the Divisions and Teams page, and I should see these two teams here. So I have the first one that I added to the 9-10 division, and then the second team I added to the 11-12 division. So they're, they're great. They're all set up and ready to go. And if I actually was to navigate over the uh, Teams tab, I now get these uh, new teams with their respective divisions. So I have one team in 9-10, and I have one team in 11-12. Um, so you can see that I have a 13-14 division here with no teams in it, um, and it's not showing because I don't have any teams associated with it. 
However, if I was to go add a new team real quick, team three, it's in the 2013 season in the 13-14 division, and click submit. Then I'll have three teams here, so I have my new team, team two, and team three. And now when I mouse over, I get those three options and I can select the team uh, that I'd want to navigate to. Okay, so I, I've added teams to divisions, but I kind of skipped over that whole uh, adding a league or division. And it's just as simple as adding a team. Uh, what you'll want to do is just select add new league or division, and then we can name this division something. So let's call this uh, girls 910 to go along with the boys 910. From here where it says subdivision of, we just want to choose root. If this is a top level division or a top level league, we'll choose the root. So this means that um, it's at the top level and then teams will fall underneath of that. So the hierarchy is basically season, league, team. And I, I also use league and division synonymously. Now let's say this was a, um, we had a boys division and then we had a, a boys A division and a boys B division. We could choose to make this boys B division, and we could make that a subdivision of boys 910. So perhaps you have boys 910 overall, but then you have two divisions within uh, the boys 910 age group. And you could make as many subdivisions or sub subdivisions as you'd like to. But for now, I'll just go ahead and add girls 910. It's going to be a subdivision of the root. I can choose to show standings, how I want to rank teams in this league or division, and then how I want to uh, report games. And then I'll click Submit to Save, and this will give me another option to add a new league or division. So you can see my Girls 910 has been added here. Let me go ahead and add a subdivision of the Girls 910 group so you can see how that works. I'm going to add girls 910A. I'll select the subdivision of the girls 910 and click submit. And now you'll see that we have an indentation underneath of that girls 910 group. So let me navigate back to the divisions and teams page and we'll see now that we have this girls 910 group, girls 910A underneath of that. And let's say I want to add a team to the girls 910A group. I'll just add a new team. I'll select where this one belongs and then click submit to save. So there are the teams we've set up uh, as well as the season. Uh, from here you can now start assigning people to these teams uh, or you can start, start scheduling events for these teams. I'm Mark at League Athletics. I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial. Thanks for watching.